All right, so now I have my camera uh, connected to the computer and the camera is turned on and I'm ready to import the images into Adobe Lightroom. Um, this is the current version of Adobe Lightroom, uh, the, the CC version, the 5.0 version. And I go into import images. And here I can see on the left hand side, I can see that my camera is attached. It's a Canon 5D Mark II. And here are the images that I took. Now, I usually take two sets of images. I take one set that is reflected with the axis bracket and I take another set that is polarized. Either on the axis bracket or if you have a ring flash, you can use it with that as well. We click on import. And now Lightroom is importing the images into its library. And now, so if you wanna, if you wanna, um, if you want to process these images, we have to change from the library mode, which can be seen here on top, to the develop mode, which is the one right next to it. Okay, so we click on develop. And here is the, here's the first image that I took with the gray reference card in the picture and uh, photographed without polarized, so just a reflected image. So here we go. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to choose the, um, the, you know, this, this, this color picker tool here on the right hand side. You click on that and then you move it over to the aiming circle and you pick any one of those four fields that you like. Okay, so I, I typically like this field the best, so that's the one I'm gonna choose, right? And just make sure that you're, you're, you're clicking on the gray field here, the gray area here, not on the black line. You wanna be clicking on the gray field here, either this one or this one or this one, or this one, doesn't really matter. Just click on that. Okay, so this is the white balance. Okay, this is the purpose of the gray card to carry out white balance to overcome the bias that every camera has. You know, some cameras like the Nikons are more red and you know, the Canon cameras have a little bit of a different bias, it's sort of more yellow and we overcome this, this bias by, by carrying out the white balance. Now, whilst I'm having my cursor over the, over the card, here in the right hand corner there beneath the histogram, I'm measuring LAB values. If this is not the case in your version of Lightroom, then you have to change that. And you do it in the following. You move your cursor over to the histogram, okay, like that. And then you hold down the control key on a Mac or you right click on a PC and then this window comes up. And you just got to make sure that you tick the last option, which is show LAB values, all right? So then when you move like this, LAB values. And then when you move your cursor over to the, to the gray card, and the right hand side beneath the histogram you're measuring LAB values. So now I can tell that the luminosity is 91%, the A is zero and the B is nearly zero. Okay? Now, as I said in the beginning, the white balance gray reference card has known color coordinates and those color coordinates are L79, A0 and B0. So the A and the B is correct but the L is too high, it's 90.9 .9, and it should be 79. So now, in order to fix that, we have to do the exposure balance. And for that, we move the cursor over to the right-hand side, and where it says exposure, on the right, you click on the, on the three zeros there, just click on it. And this turns the area blue. Then you move your cursor back over the gray card, any one of those four fields, let's say this one that we chose earlier, and now, on your keyboard, you operate the arrow down key and this changes the exposure of the image, it makes the image darker and you can see that in the right hand side that the values are changing slowly from 89 to 88, 86.9, 85.8 and so forth and you keep doing that until it says 79. Now sometimes, like in this case here, you have to enter an in-between value where an exposure correction of minus 0.90 is not enough and the next step, minus 1.00 is too much. So you choose an in-between value. So you operate on your keyboard, instead of minus 0.90, you enter a five there. And then this adjusts the luminosity of the card down to 79.4. And that's pretty much what it should be. The, the tolerance of the card is 0.5 in both directions. So I'm quite happy to now have L79.1, A0.1 and B0.0. So that's, that's perfect. So now we've basically done two things. We did uh, a white balance and we did the exposure balance. So now we can replicate the known color coordinates of our card in Adobe Lightroom. Now the picture that I took then after that was the same as before but without the white balance card, okay? So a cool thing about Lightroom is that you can take the settings that you've just created, the adjustments that you just created and you can copy and paste it over to any image next to it. In order to do that, 
Um, all I have to do is make sure that this one is clicked here on the left hand side and I hold down the shift key and I click on the other one next to it. And the only thing I now have to do is on the right hand side here at the bottom it says sync. You click on sync and click on synchronizer again. I have pretty much everything ticked except for the crop boxes. Okay. And now this is being copied over. So now both images, this one and this one, are now identical. Okay? And I'm going to do the same with the polarized images, the same thing. Okay? Because polarized has a small effect on the color temperature. And you want to, you want to neutralize this um, with a gray reference card. So the same thing again, I take my color picker tool, I click on any of those four fields. This corrects the, the white balance. Then I, where it says exposure, I click on the three zeros, so they go blue. I move my cursor over to the gray card. Now remember, don't click, do not click, just keep it there and operate the arrow down key until beneath the histogram you're reading L79. And when, once you've done that, you, um, you shift click on the image next to it, click on synchronize, confirm, and then the settings are copied and pasted over to the next image. And this is the digital workflow that we use for the white balance gray reference card. This is how you work the images in Lightroom. And remember, this only works if you have photographed in RAW. It doesn't work with JPEGs, it only works with RAW. So now you have a color accurate image for shade analysis, one that is polarized and one that is reflective.